right after the earthquake when i came here there was a relief pouring in a relief not from the government or the un side but from the people who've seen how devastating the earthquake was in sanko through media and when relief was coming in here i saw there is no coordinated mechanism to manage relief distribution so wherever relief was arriving either it's being repeatedly distributed to the same group of people or it is not arriving to the people who need it immediately i started to discuss with my friends here that we need a coordinated approach but when i discussed that with the political activists here social activists everybody was saying it's not possible it's not possible i believed that at least at the time of disaster everybody would come along together but that i didn't see happening here so that really inspired me and my colleagues who felt the similar way to discuss st- about this issue with uh, local political party representatives with local social organizations leaders and also the influential people from the local wards so after a series of meetings with them we started actually from this very place for the first time and on the third round of meeting we've been able to constitute this overall representative uh, kind of body which we call sako sako reconstruction committee sako is the original name of this place and sako is how it is popularly known i would say the achievement so far and it is not yet complete i must say that we have managed to get everybody understand the need of a single coordination body through which we will deal with the people to raise their awareness about preservation of heritage to raise their about awareness about their own contribution towards rebuilding this place and also we needed a strong institutions to deal with local municipality and nepal government so that has been the first achievement at least now the people understand that we need a coordinated and a single body and people need to be raising a voice through this institution our main challenges are actually threefold first of all in terms of heritage preservation we need to educate people all the people understand it because people are hard pressed against money some people may still be willing to sell those artifacts so we need to convince them and the second thing is that we need to work with municipality to bring out policies that will help reconstruction work quicker that will provide technical expertise quicker to the community and also our biggest challenge is actually taking these issues forward to the nepal government to bring in policies and to allocate resources for reconstruction of the city as well as preserving renovating all the heritage places that has been damaged by the earthquake